Welcome to the Windows 8 channel and uh, today in the back to basics we will talk about the settings and the charms bar and what you can actually have in settings right there. So the charms bar is what you get when you, uh, if you have a touch device, either touch the screen and slide from the right side of your screen or uh, you can just press the Windows key and tap C. You can go into a corner with your uh, arrow if you, um, or your mouse pointer, if you um, have a regular mouse and keyboard PC. And in the charms bar, click settings. Here you'll have a lot of settings. Now, first of all, the settings are always dependent on what you do. So for example, if I turn on an app, like the news app, well, if I go into my settings, you'll notice that the settings are different because the top part of the settings is always dependent on the app that is running. For example, if I turn on uh, mail, let's say I'm going to go to my mail settings. Well, if I go into the charms bar and ask for settings, you'll see that you'll have the settings that are for mail, which is accounts, options, and so on. So the top part is always dependent on the type of app that's running. And that's the first thing you need to know. But the bottom part is always the same and as the basic settings for a few things. First of all, Wi-Fi. This is where you'll go if you want to connect to a Wi-Fi um, network, either from your home, a friend's house, or maybe a, a Wi-Fi network from um, you know a uh, store or restaurant that you might go to, or a, you know a coffee shop, and so on. Uh, this is also where you can check your Wi-Fi connection. Are you connected or, or is your Wi-Fi on or off? Uh, airplane mode and so on. That's the first setting that you see. Second setting is the volume control, which lets you uh, change the volume of your computer. Third one is brightness. Now, this one is a little catchy because you can add, you know, change the brightness of your computer to here but there's a little something that can happen here. Some computers come with brightness levels that are um, in the driver of the display itself, which means that this can be either off, so when you click on it, nothing happens, or it can work, but there's nothing happening when you change the slider position. That When that happens, it means that your computer has its own uh, brightness setting in the uh, device driver. Also, remember that if you're using a desktop and have a screen, uh, external screen on your desktop, the brightness setting here doesn't work for that. It will work only on the screen itself as you have settings on the screen for brightness. Then you have notifications. Now your computer can send you a you know, wide variety of notifications in the taskbar and sometimes it might be annoying, sometimes maybe you don't want to have those notifications for a while. So you can hide for 8, 3 or 1 hour the notifications that uh, you, know, you will receive from your computer. Power will bring you to power options which is basically sleep, shut down and restart your computer. And uh, if, of course, if you have Windows 8.1, that button is also available on the top of your screen. It's the same button, sleep, shut down, and restart in the computer. And finally, in the settings is the keyboard. You have different keyboards. So for example, here I have three keyboards installed, English, United States, French, Canada, and Spanish, United States. So depending on the setting of your computer, you might have only one or you might have multiple keyboards. So this is the basic settings that you get in this part. And finally, if nothing is, you know, if you, if you don't have find your settings here, if you don't find anything that 
is what you want to look for, then you have the change PC settings, which will bring you to the PC settings of your computer, which is part of the settings in Windows 8.1. Um, but keep in mind that there's a lot of more. You have control panel, which also has settings. It's very, very uh, easy to get mixed up in Windows 8.1 because some settings are in the PC settings, some settings are still in the control panel. Uh, so that could be uh, part of the problem. So remember the top part is always depending on the app that is running. The bottom part is the basic settings, which is Wi-Fi, volume control, brightness, notifications, the power, and your keyboard. And finally, you have an option to go into the PC settings of Windows 8.1 that will bring you this uh, welcome screen, basically. If you have uh, any comments, questions, or maybe something that you'd like us to make a video to help you with, let us know. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe and uh, you'll uh, have uh, notifications every time we post videos online. Uh, if you have the new Windows 8 computer, maybe, or if you, know, you got it at Christmas, or maybe you're just lost in Windows 8, why not go through my videos? And there's a lot of stuff you know, that I explain from uh, um, pretty much everything Windows. Um, and you know, you'll learn how to use your Windows 8 computer. And uh, hope to see you again on this channel. Hope you like the videos. Bye-bye.